Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science. And if you've got long hair, like me, you'll be interested in this next video because I'm going to show you how to create hair oils. I'm actually going to show you how to create two different types. One of the types of oils I'm going to be showing you is this very low viscosity and very sprayable hair oil. The other type I'm going to show you is more of a serum consistency hair oil. So you can rub it between your fingertips and apply through strands of the hair. It really is down to you, the type of product you want to make and the materials you can access. Now this first example is a very simple product. So simple indeed, it is mixing a volatile silicon with a small amount of a non-volatile silicon. I'm adding just a small amount of vegetable oil. Now in this case I'm using argan oil, you could use jojoba oil, you could use any sort of oil that you want to create your product story about. Adding some antioxidant, and then I'm going to add some knockout fragrance that's going to make this product smell absolutely amazing. Then I simply stir that all together. And I have my sprayable hair oil. Now one of the reasons we use such a large proportion of a volatile silicon is silicons in general feel very silky to touch and that's lovely but on the hair you don't want an excess of oil otherwise it will just weigh it down. Now hair like mine I need it to be a very light finished product with a lot of volatility so that it can deliver some lipid, some emolliency but most of it will evaporate off so I have a nice silky feel to my hair but a weightless finish. I can't use much of the vegetable oil even though that makes up most of the marketing story. I don't want to use a lot of vegetable oil or plant oils because it will weigh my hair type down. If you are making a product for more African style hair or really frizzy hair that is tightly coiled, one of the problems with that hair type is it's very hard for the oil from the scalp to get to the ends of the hair. So in those cases you can reduce the volatile lipid content and increase the non-volatile silicons and even increase the actual amount of plant oils that get used. Don't forget to include that knockout fragrance and the more plant oils you use you'll need more antioxidant to protect them throughout the shelf life too. Now this particular formula which you can get from us free, just email us, we're happy to send that to you absolutely free, is using materials that small brands can access. The next product I'm going to show you which is the serum consistency uses a material that you would need to purchase from a larger supplier. But if you want a point of difference and you want a product different to other small producers you need to purchase these products sometimes. And this again is a very simple formula using one material you would need to purchase in bulk and the other materials you can access in smaller quantities. So if hair oils are your thing it represents a good investment. So I'm going to start off with the silicon blend in here. Now this is part volatile silicon and part dimethicolol and again this is in the formula that you can access from us absolutely free just email us and we'll send it to you and you'll see the viscosity of this material straight away. So even when I add more volatile silicon, again the volatile silicon content is very high so this is a very weightless product and I'm adding some non-volatile silicon. I'm again adding some knockout fragrance. I'm again adding a very small amount of vegetable oil so that I have a product story and in this case I've used jojoba oil for that product story and I'm again adding antioxidant. Now I need to give it another stir so that I can blend the 
low viscosity materials with that high viscosity blend. And you'll see we've now achieved a serum consistency. So the product is now pumpable. It'll run a little, but it won't run straight out of my hand. And this means it's really easy to apply and run through my hair. This particular blended material I've used also gives a fantastic shine and luster to the hair, which hopefully you can see even on this video. So now, some of the great things about the formulas I've created for you. The first formula, as I mentioned, even small brands can access the materials in that formula. You can increase the plant oil content if that's going to suit the hair of your target market. Make sure you have an absolutely outstanding fragrance in your products. And you can also increase or decrease and change the ratio of the volatile to non-volatile silicons depending on how much product you want remaining in the hair. Obviously, if you want a very light formula where a lot of it will evaporate from the hair, use more of the volatile silicons. Where you want a little bit more residue in the hair, use more of the non-volatile silicon or more of the plant oil. With the second product, again, you can also alter that blended material I used. It does have volatile and non-volatile components to it. You can also change the ratio of volatile and non-volatile silicons in that formula. And of course, you can increase the plant oil I've used in that formula as well. Don't forget to email me for full details of these formulas with some notes so that you can make those adjustments for yourself and really tailor make the product to suit your target market. Make it your own by changing the plant oil used. You can add other oil soluble materials to these formulas if you want to build your product story. Please make sure you give us a thumbs up for this video if you've enjoyed it and leave any comments or questions below and make sure you subscribe to see all our video releases. Happy formulating!